Hello there guys, HD Mr. Gameplay and we're back again with Assassin's Creed 3. This is part 28 titled The Battle of Bunker Hill. Uh, I'm talking over this bit because there's absolutely no dialogue. It's the most boring horse ride ever that nobody says a thing. Uh, it's just a really awkward silence while you're riding up there. And you're not even allowed to like ride ahead. I don't get why you couldn't just go by yourself. You're just sort of getting escorted up there. This happens directly after the previous mission. You literally go straight into this one. You get out of the water and he's just there waiting for you. Um, so yeah, you don't even get a choice to start the mission, you just go straight out, and as I said, you can't get too far ahead of him, because he's just, I don't know, it's just a bit weird. But yeah, um, this mission is pretty awesome. Um, it's hard at the start, um, you've got to get down the hill without getting any damage. It took me a few attempts, because I had to sort of work it out where to go, where not to go, and all sorts. But um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy this part, and I'll talk to you at the end. Hey, better numbers, you say? Better weapons, better training. But I do not fear. Neither should you. For what they have in material, they lack in conviction and care. But not us. We have discipline. We have order. And most importantly, we have passion. We believe. To maintain vigilance. Ensure a proper line of sight, and above all else, men, do not fire until you see the white of their eyes. Well, I'll be there. Did it. That was quite a speech. Lies, all of it, I'm afraid. Still, such words have carried us thus far. And what of Pitcairn? He's left Boston, as I said he would, and set up camp on Molten Hill. There's no good way to get at him. Not with that maelstrom growing down below. I suppose you could circle around a bit and wait for us to thin their ranks. There is no time. I will have the chance to direct approach. That's twice today you proposed the impossible. I see no other choice. Not because you're mad as a March Hare, son. I expect an apology on my return.
you do this? To protect Adams and Hancock and those they serve. You meant to kill them. Kill them? Are you mad? I wanted only to parley. There was so much to discuss. To explain. If you put an end to that now. If you speak true, then I will carry your last words to them. They must lay down their arms. They must stop this war. Why them and not the Redcoats? Do you not know think we ask the same question of the British? These things take time. And I would have succeeded had you let me play my part. Part of the puppeteer. For better we hold the strings on another. No, the strings should be severed. All should be free. But we should live forever on castles in the sky. You wield your blade like a man, but your mouth like a child. The more will die now because of that. Så har vi gjort det nu att tänka om det sett att gå. Det är nu med jag har tänkt om det sett att gå. Up on me like that. Why don't you just go out there and just help this cap retreat? Don't ever do that again, you hear me? God damn it! General Putnam. You live. The same cannot be said for Pitcairn. Well done, I suppose. <laughs> But it matters little now. I'm ordering a full retreat. We have lost too many in exchange for too little. If the Tories want this hill so badly, let them have it. Boston is the true prize. We have a bigger problem. What do you mean? This can't be right. It says they plan to murder Washington. So guys that was the Battle of Bunker Hill, as I said pretty good mission, wasn't too bad, um, hard at the start, gets a bit easy towards the end, um, and it was also the last part of sequence 7 so it's pretty awesome, obviously we got to kill um, whatever his name was, Pickett or whatever, something like that, um, and yeah, so pretty awesome, we'll now be going on to sequence 8 which will be probably uploaded tomorrow, whenever this is uploaded, but yeah it'll be the following day, so I shall see you then guys and have a good one.